So hi everyone and welcome to this video on uh, the vector autoregression inside of MATLAB. Uh, so today we're going to continue off where we uh, left uh, in the past video, which is uh, we graphed the series and uh, we differenced it apart from loading the series, of course. So uh, in this particular video, uh, we're going to actually build the, mar the VAR model itself. So it's it involves a couple of steps. Okay, so building the VAR model. Okay. So first is we need to declare the number of variables we have. So let's say num series is equal to three because we have three variables in the system. We have um the policy rate, the output cap, and the inflation rate. So num series is three. Okay. Uh, and then uh. Let's generate some series names, which is um, uh, output cap, okay, um, policy rate in this order, and then inflation rate. Then uh, we have this one. Okay, so uh, let us consider. For now, three models, uh, three models, namely a VAR1, a uh, two, and a VAR4. So let's consider a specification of a VAR with one lag, two lags, and four lags. So um, we can create these as follows. So VAR1, uh, let's call that the first model. Uh, the mo the command to generate the model is VRM, so number series, and then uh, number of lags is going to be one, right? So num series is the number of variables, and then the second argument is the number of lags used. Okay, then var one dot series names is equal to series names. Okay, then uh, let's have var two is var m num series in this case we now have two lags okay or two dot series names is equal to series names and our third model is a var four or four var m a num series okay uh, and then we have four lags okay series okay so we have this one. Okay, so when we create these objects, okay, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to compare, okay, which one of these models is the best. Okay, so to to be able to compare, we need uh, to use a validation sample. So. Let me basically partition my data, data pre okay, is equal to one to four. So that's the first time periods. Then I'll just type this command, seal. Okay, so it's just uh, uh, rounding a certain value, time size one. Then I have uh, data EST uh, is equal to Five to D. So this is the sample I wanted to estimate. So basically, I'm giving uh, my model the pre variables, and then I'm giving trying to estimate that holdout period. And data f is equal to d plus one. Okay, size data one. Okay. Then uh, FH is equal to normal data. Okay, so uh, we now have these objects. Okay, so we then fit the models to the data. Okay, so we have uh, four objects to create. That's the estimated model, the estimated standard error of the model, the log likelihood function of the model, and the error of the model. And this is uh, coming from the estimate command. Yes, T. Yes, T. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
and data here. Okay, so what this command is saying is it will, using the estimate command, it will estimate these parameters here. And uh, we're feeding it the data to estimate using this uh, pre data that we have that we partitioned, which is the first four periods. And now uh, we need to basically uh, do this okay, for all uh, the three models. So we need to have three of these. Okay, so we just replace. So this should be two, okay, two, 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 two. Okay, and then this should be four. Uh, okay. So uh, if we try to run what we have now, okay, if we sort of just try to run it, okay, so it should uh, run, okay, run. Uh, this is what we had in the past video. And uh, so it loaded those objects. So you can see we have a var1, var2, and var4, and we have yes, the MDL1. So let's, for example, let's check out that one we get these uh, parameters here. So we see that we were able to estimate the models already. Okay, so uh, we now write the code, okay, uh, to check for the adequacy of the model, okay. So we get results one is summarize uh, EST MDL1, right? Mm -hmm. Then uh, NP1 is equal to, we're just going to store the results, the, the parameters specifically. And we're going to do that for each model. Okay, so this will be two, two. So it's two, NP2, and then our var four, four. Four, then here we have four again, then here we have four again. Okay. So after this, you know, we use the AIC as a selection criteria. Okay. And now to do that, we just do AIC is equal to AIC BIC. Okay. And uh, we feed in the data. So log L1, log L2, log L4. And then the number of parameters, the next one. So we have NP1, NP2, NP4, right? So if we run this again, run this, uh, let's run the whole model again, run. Okay. So uh, ignore again the graphs. This is what we found in the past video. We see that a VAR2 has an AIC of negative 88. The VAR, uh, sorry, the VAR1 has negative 88. The VAR2 has negative 91, and then the VAR4 has negative 217. Okay, so uh, uh, in this case, uh, let's try to use the VAR4. Okay, the VAR4 to model. Okay, for some reason, it thinks that the VAR4 is more fit or more adequate because it's the lowest of the values. Okay, so um, uh, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to, you know, at least uh generate some form of a comparison between them okay so try to see an in-sample forecast okay so we have uh okay uh fy1 fy call one is equal to forecast okay yes the mdl1 fh and then we're gonna now use the data that we want to estimate data est here and then we're going to do this for each model that we have. So we have here two, two, yes, the model two, and then four, 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 then four. Okay. Uh, after this, okay, I, I'm going to copy a couple of uh, commands, uh, namely, um, uh, which I will post, of course, these commands, which are just used to calculate uh, the 
uh, a graph that I would want to show in the file. So we would have here. Okay. So um, uh, because let's try to use uh, the fourth one. So let's change this one to four. Okay, and then uh, let's, what else can we change here? Okay, this one should be four. Uh, four. I think we are good to go. Okay, so what, what we're going to do here is we're going to get the mean square error, which is a, a measure of accuracy, of course. Then now uh, we're going to basically use these commands. These one just creates a confidence interval. And uh, we're going to use model four, which is the var four, which has the lowest AIC. And then now we're going to see if uh, it looks good. Okay, so let's run it. Okay. And uh, this is the resulting uh, graph in sample forecast that we get. So it seems that, uh, well, we have here some uh, uh, not so good forecast for the policy rate, but for output gap, pretty good. Inflation rate, it did capture the little bit of downward trend. Okay, so that's how to at least build the VAR model inside of, uh, inside of MATLAB. And in the next video, we're going to start to uh, do impulse responses and further forecasting, out of sample forecasting using this model. So thank you for your attention and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.